Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted, and today we've got another vessel review. And the company is Ambrosina Candle Vessel Co. And they just came out a little while ago. And they sent me some of their new vessels, and I wanted to go through and kind of open them up like I do with pretty much all of the new vessels and fragrance oils that I get in so that you guys can see them and go over and show you each one of the colors that they have to offer. But before we jump into that, like I said, my name is Jeff, and I make videos all about how to make candles and create a business around candles. If you'd like to see anything more that I do, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you know when new candle videos come out. And if you've missed any of the last videos, I opened up my own candle supply company. It's West Sound Candle Supplies, and we're getting new stuff all the time. So if you haven't seen any of that stuff, definitely jump over, check out some of the oils that we offer. And along with everything else, like the clamshells, the wicks, and the candle care cards. And of course, if you'd like to be notified of any of the new stuff that I've got coming in, like the melters that are on pre-order and should be here anytime now, uh, waiting to ship those out, I've got new wicks coming in. So if you want to be alerted when any of that stuff launches or it hits the website, definitely sign up at either the email sign up that's at the bottom of the website, or you can actually text the phone number 253-303-7968. And I send out emails and text alerts for any of that stuff the moment it drops on the website. But let's go ahead and jump into this one. So these are new vessels from Ambrosina Candle Vessel Co. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I use vessels just like these. These are basically the auras. And these are probably one of my favorite vessels that I use. Customers really like these things. Uh, they come in a variety of colors and these things are really solid built. And they're a huge step up when you're trying to create a little bit more of kind of an upper end line or a luxury line, kind of basically to whatever you want to call it. If you're doing a little bit more than like a, a baseline, like I do with some of the jelly jars or the nine ounce straight jars, these definitely say a lot more when a customer walks in and sees these things. These are definitely a nice way to go when you're looking to kind of step out of the, uh, the baseline with like the jelly jars, which I use and then I do make a lot of these. Uh, if you haven't seen them before, I do make the black, the matte black. Now, I was definitely excited to see another company carrying a vessel like this one. I do make a line of candles in a monochromatic series. I basically make a matte white and a matte black in a jar just like this. So it's nice to see another company come out there with a few more colors and a few more options. And these guys are definitely stepping it up. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you each one of the colors that I've got here. I definitely have my personal favorites, but anybody that watches the videos, you already know which ones I like. So so I'm gonna go through, there's actually a couple colors in here that I like quite a bit. Uh, a couple that I'm thinking about adding to the line or at least carrying kind of all the time in my setup. But I'll basically go through and I'll show you each one of the colors so you can see exactly what they have on their website. And the first one is gonna be this Aquamarine. Let's see if I can get a good focus on that one without my face in there. The Aquamarine, uh, it's got that nice blue tint going through there. Now these hold probably right around like 13 ounces. And I'm thinking with these, you could probably get a single wooden wick in those, but I would probably dual wick these if you're gonna go with cotton. Uh, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna test these with the Maryland wax that I still have. And of course I'll go through and test a bunch more waxes in these, but I'm gonna start off with the Maryland wax company. Uh, I've got two of their waxes right here that I wanna test in these with a couple different wicks. Uh, the next one is going to be the mirror silver and this one very reflective, really nice vessel. I haven't actually seen one of these metallic ones in person before, and these are actually really nice. Good coating on that one, nice solid build. Uh, the next one is gonna be the matte gray, which I actually really like, and this one kind of matches my monochromatic series with the matte white and the matte gray, or excuse me, the matte white and the matte black. That matte gray actually fits right in between those really well. They have another one in the matte color. It's gonna be the chocolate matte. Uh, this next one is called the Amethyst Jewel. Let's see if I can get a good angle on that one so you can see that purple running through there. Yeah, this purple on this one is actually really nice. And when you're in the sunlight, you can see it a lot more. I hope the camera's catching that. It, I don't feel like it is, but it's actually a really nice purple. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Uh, the citrus orange in another matte finish. They have a dark saffron. Now, if you go back and forth between the orange one, the citrus that I just did and this one, you can see a little bit of a difference. This one has a little bit more of a red tint to it, just a little bit darker. And I actually like this one quite a bit. I don't have any red vessels in my lineup, but that is definitely one that I would consider. 
And then of course we've got the matte white, which I absolutely love. Let's see if I can get a good focus on that one. And then of course one of my all time favorites. Now this is one that I stock all the time, the matte black and the matte white, but really nice finish on those. And the last one I've got here is actually a really nice one. This is the Ocean Pearl, and I hope I can get a good focus and a good catch on that one because it has a real nice, kind of a rainbow pearl finish. If you've ever seen oil in a, uh, a rain puddle, <laughs> how it kind of shimmers with that rainbow, that's exactly what this one does when the light hits it just right. But that one, But again, extremely nice vessels. Uh, these run about four inches tall and 3.75 on the diameter on that one. Like I said, this one is probably a dual cotton wick. I don't know that you're gonna find too many single wicks that'll fit in that one burn uh, extremely well. But I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna test each of these. I'm gonna put a few different wicks in there. Uh, I'm gonna do, uh, on hand, I've got a bunch of different wicks, but I'm gonna test it with the new LCS wicks that I've got in. So probably, I'm thinking probably an LCS 40 or 45, two of those in there, we'd probably get a good burn. Uh, I've got a couple CDs, the new HTP, the new HTP wicks that we'll try out in those. And then of course I do have a bunch of other wicks on hand so that if you guys wanna see anything in this one. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be testing this one with the Maryland Wax Club. Uh, I've got two of their waxes in. I've got their cocoa apricot and their cocoa soy. So I'm gonna test both of those in this with a few different wicks. And then of course, if you wanna see any other waxes in these, please let me know what you'd like to see. And of course, if you haven't seen these vessels yet, definitely jump over to Ambrosina Candle Vessel Co. I've got links down below uh, in the video description and below on the screen right here. So definitely Definitely jump over, take a look, uh, and they do offer free shipping to anywhere in the US, which is extremely nice. And each of these vessels run right around $5, which is about normal for a vessel like this uh, that I've seen from pretty much anywhere. And depending on the shipping, if you're going like across the United States, sometimes that can be a lot more. And of course, if you're already using some of these vessels, let me know which ones you've got. Let me know how they're working out for you. And let me know which colors you like the best in this setup. But that's pretty much it with this one. I'm gonna grab the camera, get a little bit closer look on some of these things so that you guys can see them a little bit a little bit more up close with the video and of course if you have any questions on these please again let me know what you think of these in the comment section down below if you have any questions ask in the comment section down below and i'll try to go through and answer those questions in the follow-up video to this one and of course definitely jump over to west sound candle supply and take a look at all the new oils that i have in the wicks the clamshells and everything else that's coming on the website and i have a few more oils coming this week so there'll be a lot more on the website so just keep checking there and the video for the nine liter wax melter is going to be coming out right after this one. I've been recording this one and finishing this one up. So I uh, stay tuned in the next day or so. And I'm going to try to release this one as quick as possible because I know a lot of people are asking about this one. So definitely stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.